Secrets of Gloomrod has brought some serious changes to base building and the zones available for your future castle, so it's time to spotlight the best of them. This is Aiming for Gaming, and today we're aiming for base claiming. Let's start with the Farbane Woods. One of the best base locations here is in the northwest. It offers a spacious territory for building and is conveniently located near the newly added merchant's camp. Additionally, it's in a close proximity to both the copper mine and the sulfur quarry, which are crucial resources in the early game. As a bonus, this base is surrounded by a picturesque lake that culminates in a small waterfall. Next up, we have two twin bases situated in the middle of the Farbane Woods. These bases are strategically positioned right next to the copper mine, the Forgotten Cemetery, a great source of bones and grave dust, and two cave passages. One cave passage is coming from the new Gloomrod zone, while the other connects to Dunley farmlands, allowing for easy return trips after farming runs. The proximity to the second merchant's camp is also a nice advantage. On most servers, players can have two bases, making it possible to create a grand twin castle. If you are a fan of snowy landscapes, all five available bases in the Hallowed Mountains are relatively equal in terms of quality. However, the top left base is more preferable due to its multiple entrances and its proximity to the entrance of the upcoming new zone. There is also a nearby cotton farm. This location is perfect for vampires who prefer freezing themed builds. Now let's check out the revamped Dunley farmlands. Right in the middle, you'll find a visually appealing base with a new Dunley farmers market just a few meters away. The haunted iron mine and a variety of farms for cotton, sunflowers and workers for blood are also nearby. One of the highlights here is the beautiful waterfall and river providing a perfect view for your castle. Moving to the left side of Dunley farmlands, we discover another great zone with vast territory. It includes Dunley monastery and the newly added iron cave along with quartz quarry not too far away. You'll also find the haunted iron mine, a cave entrance to the farmbane woods and several farms. What's more, there is an impressive number of ponds that add charm to your gardening style. Another noteworthy base location in the left part of Dunley farmlands is situated right in the plains. It offers a decent territory and is surrounded by several points of interest including quartz quarry, iron cave, bedrock pass and Dunley monastery. Moreover, it's in close proximity to both the new Gloomrod zone and the Silverlight Hills full of silver, gold and wine, making it an ideal spot for advancing in the game. Now let me introduce my personal favorite, a zone at the top of Dunley Farmlands. This base location has several notable advantages. It's just a few meters away from the Bastion of Dunley, which is a great source of powerful prisoners. The nearby church allows for easy farming of undead enemies and their rare drops. Additionally, the base is conveniently close to the Iron Cave, Farms, Quartz Quarry and Markets. Reaching the Gloomrot and Cursed Forest is also a breeze, and both the Silverlight Hills and future Hallowed Mountains are at the same distance, making this base the literal center of the world. It's the perfect place to build your empire, and I must say the view from here is simply stunning. This base gets a solid 10 out of 10 from me. By the way, clicking the like button on this video will show me that you enjoyed it. It's very important to me and motivates me to make more videos for you. In the new Gloomrod region, you'll come across some intriguing base locations, including this base in the bottom left corner. What makes this place special is its proximity to the Silverlight Hills, which significantly facilitates your endgame progression. Additionally, you'll have quick access to the Lightning Source, Gloomrod bosses, as well as the best farming spots for Tech Scrap and Mutant Grease. Moving on, we have two bases located at the bottom, near the Quartz Quarry and the main farming locations in Gloomrod. These bases offer convenient access to valuable resources and farming spots within the Gloomrod zone. Now let's talk about my current favorite base in the middle of Gloomrod. This location provides quick access to Thunderstrike Peak, Tech Scrap and Mutant Grease farming spots. There is also a cave passage that leads to the Farmbane Woods and an easy scrap farming camp to the east. It's a fantastic base for efficient resource gathering and exploration. If you're looking for a base close to the Cursed Forest, the one on the east side seems quite promising. Alternatively, if you prefer having neighbors, there's a cozy cottage area in the southeast, near Dunley Farmlands. Both locations offer proximity to essential spots such as the Transcendent Mine, Machine Factory, Spider Cave and a cave passage to the Farmbane Woods. For those seeking a cursed forest base, the one right in the middle is undoubtedly the best choice. 
It provides easy access to all the necessary materials and resources needed for survival in this challenging environment. Let's now explore some awesome base in the Silverlight Hills. Without a doubt, the best base here is the one located near the sacred silver mine. This base is essential for the endgame as you'll need ample amounts of silver and gold from the surrounding territories. The city nearby offers a vast territory teeming with traders and potential victims for your growing army. There are also two bases in the south, both suitable for resource farming and trading. However, be prepared for a challenging road to acquire silver. And as a bonus for those who have watched up to this point, I have the previously well-known Dunley Farmlands base, now split into two separate bases. Both of these bases offer picturesque views, including waterfalls and ponds. They are in close proximity to all the early to mid-game locations, making them perfect choices. Simply occupy both plots and you're good to go. I hope with this spotlight you have achieved what you are aiming for today. For more spotlights, simply visit my channel and consider subscribing, it's that easy. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.